hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is article as you know and this is i astrologer so as some of you know if you've been watching my youtube shorts you would know that i'm learning makeup yes i'm trying to get in there and as i'm doing that i thought about something i thought about spicing my channel up and i'm adding an m and p it is called makeup and podcast <laughs> i don't know how i came up with that but yeah so as i'm applying makeup on a lady's face we're having a discussion we're having a conversation we're talking about stuff things about life and you know what have you but don't get it twisted and i'm still traveling i'm still doing my bit as you guys know we have our trip to makati that is coming up in june so i'm still doing all that all of that but i'm learning makeup and i want to spice it up i don't want to be boring and everything so on the first segment of this m and p this experiment we're trying the first person that we're trying this way is my sister my sister is married and she has a child so in this segment <laughs> in this episode we're talking about being life of a married woman life of being married and having a child for you know life of a single girl and a married girl can never be the same so i nearly say married woman because once you're a girl and you're married you're now a married woman not a married girl you know that thing so we just want to talk about what it is like being married and you know the whole perks and you know first and rounds just all that while i'm applying that makeup you guys know i'm still learning so go easy on me okay let's get into it hi guys my name is elizabeth I've been married for two years. I have a child. She's 15 months old. So what has it been like being married from transitioning from a single girl to a married woman? <laughs> what has it been like? Well, <laughs> being married, transitioning. Well, it's been good. It's been good. Let me see. 80%. It's been very, very good. Yeah. I've been enjoying it so yeah. are there any challenges what is there something that is there any challenging thing has it been challenging or it's just been rosy and how long have you been married i've been married for two years of course it's been challenging <laughs> at the point i even want to return to my parents house but hey, hey, hey. It go it is, <laughs> we had to have a discussion and tackle out the issues and ever since then we've we've still had issues we still have issues but we try as much as possible to just compromise swap out of feet and move okay. forward yeah okay. so it's been challenging but we're moving on mm. yeah so what about being a mom being a new mom i don't know how that has I... <laughs> that's the part i did not prepare for nobody told me about it you yeah. know immediately i got married almost immediately i got pregnant and before you know boom i have a baby i have to be responsible for one little worry worry girl <laughs> Ah, being a mom is not easy at all. I'm going to I'm going to advise new couples if you can. I, I with the permission of your husband or your wife, just take your time, just chill, like have time with your husband. Unless you guys have been in a relationship for a very long time and you're finally getting married, that is, you guys have known each other. But if you're just meeting someone and you're getting married to them, just like me. If you can take one or two years to just chill, enjoy yourselves before kids come because it is totally a different ball game. Okay. Children are, it will never remain the same. If you're coming across this page for the first time, please do to hit the subscribe button and go ahead to watch my videos and see what the page is about. If you've been here and you haven't subscribed, please do it to the subscribe button as well. And let me know what you think about this new segment that i've introduced to you guys let me know what you think about it in the comment section if you have a juicy conversation you have something we can talk about while i give you the novix face beats do it to leave a comment okay and let me know what you think if you're a new mom or a new wife and you have a thing or two to add to what mom is always saying do not forget to hit that comment box i like that this one is i like that <laughs> So how is the mom life now? They meet me all and follow, I follow moms going for antenna. So they do a uh, uh, no, it's not the other one. Immunization. <laughs> so tell us about it. Uh, 
love life is not easy it's not like when you're younger that you want, you want to go out you just get ready carry your handbag now <laughs> you might not even carry your handbag what you're carrying <laughs> is your baby bag <laughs> Well, well you have different ngongo inside so that is how it is you have before you go out you have to be very very meticulous you have to arrange 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 think uh, what am i missing out because children are funny mm. the day you decide not to carry extra clothes that's when they'll go out and mess up themselves and you will not be happy so that's just it you have to be very very meticulous before you go out mm. going for immunization immunization is not always it's just it's monthly depends on your baby at every milestone like six months okay when they are little you go for three months you go for six months you go for nine months you go for one year one year three months one year six months mm -hmm. and so on so I that is it up. yes <laughs> <laughs> yes it's coming out fine okay. so that is how it is being a mom meeting other moms some moms are somehow they want to show you this um they want to show you that they are superior like especially moms that have more than one kids they want to show you that ah i come here before you i, come here before you. I don't know what this things that they do i see the two sabi blah 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 new moms yeah. on our body sabi sweet on why you wear this kind of cloth so i remember one time i went for um then i was still seven i went for cds mm. abi i went for biometric ah i know the weather was hot that day but i want my baby cap if you know one woman, maybe she has more than one child. Ah, man, I was making wear this girl son for this, uh, wear this girl cap for this kind of hot son. I'm like, if I go even talk, so she says, now your face begin to think. I say, say no wonder. <laughs> I was so embarrassed. Everybody did. It just, I was not really embarrassed, but it just did one kind. Why not just tell me small, small? Why are you coming to make everybody know that it's my first time and I'm making a mistake? Mm. Say, I beg, remove this cap for the picking hair. You begin already get hair now. See, they cover and for. So some moms, they are probably that was how I went for immunization. Wow. Immunization, yes. And my baby was just moving around. I decided to just ah pum pum come back because I got my call my baby pum pum. One woman just attacked me. When I was in the shot pum pum up and down. Your baby name na pum pum. My God. I said no. My baby name no you pum pum. She said so. Then we asked my baby's name is Adugo. My friend to call her pum pum. She said our body is a bit sweet. So this first time mom. So all those uh -huh. things are just. Ah, which one is this? So sometimes you just want to mind your business, but it is what it is. Once you have a child, it is harder for you to mind your business because even though you mind your business, your friend you're picking, don't go drag another person picking. <laughs> if you know you're for forced to, <laughs> when you're forced to have a conversation, so that is mm. just how it is. Okay. So, do you still see yourself as a young girl? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, I don't old. Why no no? I see myself as a very young girl, though. Ha, a very very young girl self. Like I feel, a, I feel like a very very. I, I feel like I'm younger than so many persons. Mm. I don't know why you, but I, that's how just how I feel. I feel like it's feel very like very. I'm, mm -mm. I'm old now. I'm not young. I don't feel old at all. No 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 no. I feel like a very very young girl. Mm. My baby is not a limiting factor. She's not a hindrance. Mm. She's just there as a child. But me. I feel like a very very young girl. If my mom is around, I leave her and do whatever I want to do. I go to see movies, mm. I go out and I have fun. No, no, no. Okay, no. so you still feel like going out. Some people when they put to bed like this, to come out there. Eh? I beg, I don't tell you, I can't go, I can't go, I can't go. And that used to be me oh earlier, but now more <laughs> you only live once. <laughs> and before you know another picking don't come, before you know another picking don't come, before you know. <laughs> You don't ever get chance again. So I'll just any mom if you just give birth and you have the opportunity to go out, please do go out. It's going to help you feel better and help you feel go out, really. oh, go out. Yes, so <laughs> okay, so we are we are moving to the eyeshadow now. <laughs> so we are coming back, we're coming back. Bye. Bye. Look at <laughs> oh it's nice, Davi. Yeah, check. See our eyelashes. Oh, you makeup artist. I'm coming for you. <laughs> I'm coming to give you around for your money. So, guys, we're almost done. We want to get to the lips. Yay! So, guys, <laughs> this is the final look of our makeup. Mm -hmm. 
see my fine sister and uh, oh dear child Vivianci, i'm coming for you <laughs> anyways guys we've come to the end of this episode i've been an experimenter <laughs> do you have anything to say to my fans hi guys <laughs> thank you all for keeping up with ayas travel log please if you're yet to subscribe go and subscribe like our videos share them and always leave a comment bye love ya from mommy zoe <laughs> so guys we come to the end of this episode or experiment let me know what you guys think do you want more of this do you like it because me i don't know <laughs> Anyways, guys, see you on my next video. Don't forget to subscribe, button, like my video, and leave a comment for me, okay? Bye.